buying a home is consistently ranked among life's most stressful events. Applying for a home loan is a big part of that, from the amount of paperwork to anxiously waiting to know whether or not you got approved. But artificial intelligence may just transform that experience and the mortgage industry as a whole. So Ann Berry is a partner at Cornell Capital and a financial expert and joins me now to talk about this. So I was just saying that the whole process of sort of applying for a loan, you feel like you're selling yourself personally to whoever the lender is, right? And when I think about factoring AI, it seems like it's taking that human equation out of it. But how are mortgage lenders using artificial intelligence? I think part of the reason you feel like you're selling yourself is just the sheer quantity of information right. you have to provide provide right, part, as part of that application That's process. True. And I think what the AI application is trying to do is to make it easier to provide that documentation and make it quicker and more efficient for the mortgage lender to wade through it. So using computational power, using machine intelligence to try to uh, eke out all the different facts that they need to make smarter lending decisions. Interesting. So uh, does that mean there's a sort of a greater focus on the factors that really count when it comes to determining whether or not you'd be a good person to extend money to? Yeah, I think it's two things. I think it's the factors that count to make the best lending decisions. So if you think about one of the things we learned in the financial crisis mm -hmm. was there was a huge amount of credit issue just by looking at credit scores that one three digit number. And so what AI would do is let you take a larger amount of diverse information to try and get a deeper, more intelligent decision made and to do it faster. So it's twofold. It's the ease and the speed. Okay, I like that. So that's how it benefits the mortgage lender. What about me, the person who's hoping to get this loan? I think it's two things. It's, I think it gets a faster decision to you. Right. So one of your opening comments was it's stressful. It takes a long time. It can take up to three weeks to get a mortgage application. Uh, so taking that time down should take that stress out. Yeah. The other thing too is there are some ways of looking at borrowers that perhaps a simple credit score doesn't capture. So can there be broader information? Social media could be one down the line, not yet, but right. down the line that paints a bigger picture so people can try and figure out more about whether this is a really interesting borrower. That is fascinating. So how many lenders are using AI now? Well, there was a study that was done in the fall by Fannie Mae, which surveyed mortgage lenders, and under 30% were using AI in any capacity right now. It's not easy. It's time intensive. It's expensive. It's not yet proven in all these different dimensions, so it'll take a little time. And then moving forward, though, is the expectation that you know this is a growth area? We're going to see a lot of lenders taking advantage of this sort of technology? I think so. We've seen a pickup in A in lots of other industries. Student loans have been using it for a long time. On the other end of the spectrum, industrial businesses have been using predictive analytics and AI mm -hmm. for a long time. So this does feel like the next frontier at growth. It really does, and it makes a lot more sense to me because you're right, you know, a credit score, though it means a lot, um, you know, credit scores can go up and down. You can miss or be late on a couple of payments, and that could really do a lot of damage to your credit score. But really, by and large, you're a good bet. Right. But it's hard to tell by that number right? at that moment. Exactly. Yeah. And you need more information over time. That's your point, not just at that moment. Yeah. But also within your ecosystem, for example, what if you've got dependents? What if you've got family members? The student loan business has tried to figure this out. Look at a family, not just the student. Perhaps you'll see that with other parts of the lending industry too. Fascinating stuff. Anne Barry, thank you very much. Thanks.